Hello everyone, this is Sam and today I am going to tell you how to activate your ThinkDAG hardware on DAGZone server. So before the process begin, you must have some basic things. Uh, first thing, the serial number of the hardware which is written right here and uh, ID and password for DAGZone server and the last thing, an Android device which may be your laptop, your cell phone, tablet etc. So let's begin with the installation of apk file so as you as you can see uh, the apk file is right here so just click on it and here you'll get two options so just click on install it is installing hardly it will take a uh, uh, 20 or 30 seconds maximum and after installation you will get two options done and open so just choose open and it will ask for allow so just allow five times and uh, here you need to scroll right five times one two three four and uh, click on start now And you need to click on top left corner here. Sorry, something is wrong with the hardware. Okay. And uh, just choose update option. And here you need to enter username and password which you already have. <coughs> For security purposes, I can't tell you the ID and password. Sorry for that. And after entering username and password, just click on login and you'll get this option. Just wait after login for uh, 10 or 10 or 5 seconds if you get a blank page and uh, scroll to right like this. And you'll get these options. So let's remove Nissan and uh, choose both above demo and UVD second and click on update at this step you need to verify your device so what we need to do uh, just power it powered up this hardware here I'm gonna connect it with my car and you see the light at the bottom after connecting the device to car or any other platform just click on start verification and it will verify your device first time and you'll get this option so just click on pair and now it is connected and again it will load and need to wait for a few seconds verification completed successfully okay and it will refresh again let it refresh and again you will reach the same option so just unselect and choose EOVD and click on update and now it is updating first one is successfully installed or as to all downloading and installing another one has been installed so just need to uh, install actually EOVD software and uh, again click on top left and click on diagnostic and you will get EOBD software choose EOBD click on ok and bit now it is connecting loading and here we go it has been connected and searching for protocols so friends if uh, you get this option it means uh, your hardware is okay everything is okay and uh, ready to activate fully so just end this session okay okay thank you thank you for watching this video i hope it will be useful for you and have a great day i'll see you next video till then bye bye